Climb aboard Scholastic's The Magic School Bus for even more wild rides. Now you can collect all the fun in Scholastic's The Magic School Bus video collection. Cool. With the Frizz, Arnold, Wanda, and the rest of the gang. Join them for all of their exciting, action-packed adventures. Find out what happens when Arnold swallows the bus in the Magic School Bus for lunch. Check out what's making Ralphie sick in the Magic School Bus inside Ralphie. Wow! When the kids get trapped in a haunted house, they never know what the next sound is going to be in the Magic School Bus in the Haunted House. Watch this! Experience the wonderful world of animal habitats in the Magic School Bus Hopped Home. Make waves as the gang journeys to the ocean floor in the Magic School Bus Gets Eaten. This is so cool! Blast off on a field trip that's out of this world when the Magic School Bus gets lost in space. <laughs> Come along, class! Collect all of Scholastic's The Magic School Bus videos so they can become lasting additions to your video library. I'd say it's a perfect time for a field trip! Adventure. My name is Casey, and we're going to learn something very special today. And all you need is one thing, and that is your imagination. What adventure are we going to take today? Horses! Horses! What are some of the things that you guys like about horses? Jose? They're really neat, and they have really skinny really skinny legs. And sometimes they have, they look like they have socks on. Are horses purple? <sighs> Eddie, what do horses like to eat? Do they like pizza? No. I want you guys to concentrate really, really, really hard. And we just might discover something about horses. Come over here, you guys. I want you to meet a couple of my really good friends, Paul and Clip Clop. Paul? Hi. Well, I guess you figured out which one's Paul. Paul's going to tell us all about horses today. Well, I've really loved horses ever since I was a boy. And this is my horse, Clip Clop. And I've had him for 11 years, and he's 11 years old. Wow. He's a really big horse, though. Well, yes, he is a big horse. And because he's so big, I'd like to teach you and your friends some tips about handling horses. Come on over. Great. First of all, you have to make sure that your actions around the horse are slow and fluid. Horses don't like abrupt movement. Then, when you walk around the horse, you want to make sure you put your hand on him so he knows exactly where you are. And when you walk around behind him, you want to put your hand over his tail so he knows that you're back there and doesn't accidentally kick you thinking you're a predator or an animal that wants to hurt him. Is that why you keep talking to him, too, so he knows where you are? My voice, yeah, lets him know where I am. Okay. Wow. Horses are big. <laughs> what do they like to eat? Well, Clip Clop here eats alfalfa hay for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Breakfast, lunch? That's, that sounds really boring. Does he like anything else, like maybe any special treats, like um, pizza or ice cream or...? Well, no, that wouldn't be good for him, but he likes carrots and apples. That's exactly my favorite food. And I have some in here, I think. I always carry some carrots and, and apples with me. Do you think 
Do you think I could give him some? Here, let me show you. What okay. you have to do is you have to hold your hand flat because fingers look like carrots. And what he'll do is he'll mistake your finger for a carrot and bite you. Yep. So you hold your hand flat and he'll take it. You and Clip Clop are such good friends. Does he stay at your house? <laughs> no. Come on, I'll show you. He stays in a stall. Okay. This is Clip Clop's stall. Wow, it's, it's, it's nice, but it, it's kind of messy in here. Well, we have to clean up after the horses twice a day. Will you hold Clip Clop? Sure. And I have a treat for him. When we clean up, it's called mucking. Did you know horses take showers, too? They do? Yeah, come on. I'll show you. Great. When horses go to sleep at night, do they lay down or do they sit up like a dog or well they don't do they sit do like it? dogs they usually sleep standing up but sometimes they can lie on their side they do when they're really tired huh yeah what's this this is where we store their food we call it hay and look at all these other horses those are clip clops friends we have 50 horses here and this is where we give our horses baths casey this is my friend erica and her horse kid Hi, Erica. Hi. What do you use to wash your horse? Shampoo? Shampoo and conditioner. And how often do you have to wash him? About twice a month. Oh, he is beautiful. See you later, Erica. Bye. Now this is where we ride the horses. What are those fence things out there? Those are jumps, but I'll tell you more about that later. You know, you have to brush your horse every day. And these are some of the things we use. This looks like some stuff that we might have in our bathroom. Like a washcloth and, look at this, you guys, a brush. A little bigger than the one we use. This one looks like mine. And fly spray? Yeah, hmm. we use that to keep the flies from biting them. Hmm. Let me show you how to use them. Okay. This is a curry comb, and this is a dandy brush. And we curry the horse in a circular motion, and we get all the loose hair and scurf out of the horse's coat. Scurf is horse dirt. Then we use the dandy brush, and we brush all the loose stuff off the top of their coat. Does Clip look like this? He loves it. Aww. It's like a massage. Huh. Then after you groom the entire body of the horse, you have to pick out his feet. You have to pick out his feet. Here, let me take those for you. What do you use? You use a hoof pick. Hmm. To pick up his foot, you run your hand down his neck and then down his leg, and he'll pick up his foot. He's been trained to do that. Now, this is the hoof wall. It's kind of like your fingernail. Yeah. This is the sole on the inside. This metal thing is his shoe. Huh, it doesn't look like my shoes very no, much. No, it sure doesn't. And this, down the middle, is called the frog. Frog? This is a frog. Why do you call it a frog? You know, Casey, I've been around horses for years, and no one's ever been able to tell me why. If we had to get Clip Clop ready to go someplace, would it take a really long time? Well, it would take a long time, but it'll go a lot faster if we work together. Okay, well, let's get going. a lot of work to take care of Clip Clop. But, Paul, I can tell you love him a lot. Well, he is a lot of work, and you have to come out and take care of him every day, even if you don't want to. But, you know, when you love something as much as I love Clip Clop, it makes you feel good to take care of him. As you can see, horses are a lot of fun, and they're a lot of work, too. Do you guys know anything at your house that's a lot of fun and a lot of work? No. No. How about you, Jose? My, my pet birds, my two pet birds. A bunny. You do. What do you do to take care of your bunny? Feed his cage and feed him food. And I have to um, cover them up at night so they won't get cold with, with a blanket. Now, we learned something kind of interesting, didn't we? We learned that there were frogs on the bottoms of horses' feet. Do we have frogs on our feet? Let's take a look. Let me see. Oh, my goodness. How about you, Jose? Do you have a frog on your foot? No? Okay. 
Can you guys remember what Paul's horse's name is? Clip-clop, clip-clop, clip-clop. Clip-clop, he's my horse, we love to run and play. He is my pal, of course, he loves to eat his hay. Every day I get him dressed, he loves to wear his saddle. I tell him all my secrets, my clip-clop wouldn't tattle. I wash his shoes and brush his coat to keep them clean and shiny. I feed him from a bowl of boats, I always treat him kindly. Clip-clop, he's my horse, he loves to run and play. He's my pal, of course, he loves to eat his hay. He wears four shoes upon his feet to cover up his frogs. That's a soft part on his feet, real neat. I'm glad they're not called hogs. Oh, clip-clop, he's my horse. We love to run and play. He's my pal, of course. He loves to eat his hay. He loves to wag his tail. It keeps him nice and cool. I wonder what my friends would think if I rode clip-clop to school. He'd be the best in every class, cause he's got lots of horse sense. He'd beat the rest in every sport, cause who could stop such force? No one, of course, clip-clop, he's my horse, we love to run and play. He's my pal, of course, he loves to eat his hay. Clip-clop, he's my horse, we love to run and play. He's my pal, of course, he loves to eat his hay. Clip-clop, clip-clop. Hey, Casey, I got a surprise for you. What is it, Paul? I want you to meet my friend, Ronnie. She has a baby horse. Oh, he's beautiful. Hey, Ronnie, we're gonna go riding later. You wanna come along? I'd love to. That would be great, Paul. I'll go get the horses ready. Okay, we'll see you later. Bye-bye. Hi, Casey. Hi, Ronnie. May I come in with you guys? Oh, sure, may. Hi. Move slowly Hi. around, wise guy. Okay. Hi, little guy. This is wise guy. And this is his mom coming over to see what we're doing, too. She's worried about her baby. Oh, well, let's see. Do I have anything I can give her that maybe make her happy here? Oh, yes. Mom will eat some carrots, but I don't think Wise Guy will yet. He's still too little. Oh, so he doesn't eat carrots? No, not yet. He's only six weeks old. So he drinks his mom's milk, and he eats a little bit of hay. He's starting to eat hard foods. See those little furry things on his nose? Mm -hmm. Let me see. Where? See how he's furry right here? Yeah. He has little antennas. So he uses those to feel what's on your chest, right in your pocket. He is so, so he sees those carrots right there. He is so soft, Rami. His nose feels like velvet. I know, that's the good thing about babies. Oh, he's beautiful. Now, he's about as big as I am. How much does he weigh? He weighs about 250 pounds. Well, it's more than me. Right now, I hope so. Yeah. And what he's gonna do is when he gets older, he'll probably be almost as big as his mom, and he'll probably weigh about 1,500 pounds. 1,500 pounds? I know, that's a big change, isn't it? So that's how much his mom weighs. Yes, yes, his mom weighs 1,500. And right now, Wise Guy is 12 hands tall. And we measure huh. him in hands, which are four inches wide. Okay. And we start at this withers, which is this shoulder part. Okay. And we go from here, you keep your hand there, mm -hmm. all the way down to here. And we go hand to hand to hand to hand to hand. 12 times. 12 times. Oh. Oh. Yep, and that's how big he is. He is very curious. He is. He's interested. He's very, in what very, have. very curious. Let's turn him around a little bit so yeah. we can get a better look at Wise Guy. Now there's some hay down here. Do you think he'd want some of it? Well, I think that since he met you, he's not really interested in hay right now. He's more interested in making a new friend. Yeah, he's really sweet. <laughs> he is a good guy. I think I love him. He is cute. I yeah. think he loves you too, Casey. Yeah. He, I think he wants to give me a kiss. Let him give you a kiss. Oh. oh. Do you want to see his teeth? Yes. See if we can get in there and Do you see think his teeth. Oh, oh my God! Oh look! <laughs> he wants to shake hands. <laughs> oh, very pleased to meet you. <laughs> okay, well. Maybe he thinks you're his new best friend. I guess so. Now, can I see his teeth? Yeah, you think he'll mind? It. You help me. Will you hold on this side? Just okay. Hold his head down. Okay. And we'll push his little lips up, and we'll see his teeny weeny little teeth oh. in there. Well, they're nuts. They're a lot bigger than my teeth. They are. They're kind of yellow. <laughs> and that's because you can't brush them. Casey, did you know that baby horses can walk right when they're born? Oh. From the very minute? From the very minute they're born, their legs are strong enough to be able to stand right up and start to walk. 
I bet when Wise Guy gets old, he's gonna go pretty fast. Well, you know, can we start off maybe by taking him for a little walk? Yeah. What do we do first? Okay, why don't you come right around the front of him? Okay. And I want you to hold with your left hand where my hand is. My left hand. I'm sorry, your right hand. Okay, my right hand. And hold with your left hand right at the end. And you're gonna stay right next to Wise Guy's shoulder. And I'm gonna give him a little bit of a tap. And you're gonna start to walk nice and slowly and he, maybe he'll follow along. Okay, do I talk to him? You can talk to him. Okay. Don't look at him and try not to get in front of him because he sure won't walk then. Okay. Okay? Okay. okay. Come on, Wise Guy. Come on. There we go. Hey. Good job, Casey. You guys are really learning, aren't you? He's wonderful. Rami, if Clip Clop is Paul's best friend, is Wise Guy your best friend? Well, Casey, Wise Guy's my new best friend, but my old horse, Truffle, is my old best friend. Wise Guy, go find your mom. Go find mom, Wise Guy. Bye. Wise Guy. Run. Bye, Wise Guy. Bye, Wise Guy. Hey, you want to go ride? Yeah, let's go ride. Okay. He looks like he's in pretty good shape here. Hi, we're back! We're back! Hi, Rami. Hi, Casey. Hi! How are you guys doing? We're doing great. Ladies, this is Dr. Brechtel. Hi, how are you doing? At, uh, truffle for you. Hi. Thanks for getting truffle ready for me. You're welcome. Hey, wait a minute. Dr. Brechtel? You're a, you're a horse doctor? Yes, I'm a, I'm a veterinarian. I work on horses specifically. Oh, I... do you make horses open up their mouth and go, ah? Well, I can do that, but most of the time we don't have to. No, do you give them shots, like for chicken pox and measles and all that stuff the, the kids have yeah, to get? Yeah, horses, horses don't get those diseases. They don't get chicken pox and measles, but they do get vaccinated for other diseases. And especially when they're children, they have to be vaccinated when they're little falls. When they're little babies, you yeah. have to get your shots. Do, you, do they get colds and flu, too? Mm -hmm, they sure do. They'll get a runny nose and puffy eyes, just like you or I would. Oh, poor sweetie. So how does Truffle look? Truffle looks great. Truffle's ready to go out for a ride. Oh, thank you very much. My pleasure. OK. Casey, you want me to show you how to tack up a horse? I sure would, Paul. Come on with me. OK. OK, well, have fun. Thanks. Now, the first and most important thing to getting a horse ready to ride is a good grooming, and we've already done that. We sure have. He looks beautiful. Then if we take this. This is called a saddle pad, and it helps absorb sweat when you ride, so the saddle doesn't get sweaty. Okay. Now, Clip Clop needs a special foam pad to keep his back from getting sore. So we put that on next. Okay. Then, we put the saddle on. Whoa, it's kind of small. Well, this is called an English saddle, and it's different from a Western or cowboy saddle because we don't uh, rope cows. Next comes the girth. Now, this is what holds the saddle to the horse's back, and it's like a belt. Hmm, like it holds our pants on, right? Exactly. Holds his saddle on. Now, I'm going to move around to the other side, and of course, like we learned earlier, I'm going to place my hand on Clip Clop's tail so he knows where I am. OK, I'm going to hand the girth to you. OK. And okay. then it buckles to the other side of the saddle. Goes underneath his belly, huh? Yep. Do horses like to be ridden, Paul? They sure do. You know, if they didn't, you wouldn't stay on their backs very long. <laughs> OK, now we have the saddle on. OK, are we all ready? No, we're not ready. Now we have to put the bridle on. OK. Now, the bridle is how we control the horse. Wow. That this looks, is a bridle. That looks really complicated. Yeah. And this metal piece right here, this is called the bit, and it actually goes inside the horse's mouth. <laughs> now. When you're tacking up, that's what we call saddling. OK. You want to make sure you have control of the horse at all times. So I take the halter. This is this head collar that I have on him. And I put it around his neck. That way, I've always got control. You know something, Paul? I was noticing that his ears really move around a lot. Well, their ears can tell you a lot. When a horse is angry, he'll take both of his ears and pin them back. And when he's listening, yeah. he'll pin them both forward. And when he's relaxed, he'll just move them around. Hello. Next, we take and put reins over the head. OK. Now, he was trained from when he was very young to accept the bit in his mouth. Wow, he And he just right opens right up. Sure does. Now, that doesn't hurt him at all, huh? No. 
Seems like he's chewing on it. Next, we have several buckles here we have to buckle. And as soon as we have them buckled, we're ready to ride. All right. OK, we're ready to ride. We have our riding helmets on. Yes, we do. This is Max. Hi, Max. We're going to go ahead and get on Max. I'm going to give you what's called a leg up. All right. So what you do is you hold on to the reins. All right. And on the count of three, I'll lift you up on his back. OK. One, One two, two, three. Whoa. There you go. <laughs> OK, I've got my feet in the stirrups. And your hands on the reins. My hands are on the reins. Perfect. Paul, what are we going to do now? Now we're ready to walk. Max has a gas pedal. You just have to squeeze with your legs, and that sends him forward. He also has a set of brakes. Those are your reins. All you have to do is pull back, and he'll stop. So my legs are the gas, and my reins are the brakes. That's right. OK. That's it, Casey. I can't believe how much horses have helped people. That's true. Kings rode horses. And queens. Cowgirls rode horses. And cowboys, too. Horses were very important to Native Americans. Did you know that horses used to pull the water tankers to fight fires before there were fire trucks? And in some places, police officers ride on horses instead of in cars. So you see, horses have been around and helping people for a long, long time. No wonder Truffle's my best friend. Horses are really amazing. We've learned a lot. We've learned that horses are big and small. They have many talents, just like people. And horses come in all different colors. Some horses need help. Some horses can help other horses and help people, too. Horses are sometimes people's friends. Can you guys imagine your friends? Let's imagine our friends, because you know what? My best friend was somebody that I would think about in my mind very, very quietly, and I'd imagine my most best friend. Easy rider, tall, dark friend, you're my hero, heaven sent. Dreams of glory, fields to graze. Here's our story of hazy days. Best friends, a helping hand to lend. You're always there when I need you. Best friends, together to the end. You always care, that's why I love you. You make my day. Summer long, we'll run and play and sing some silly songs. We'll learn to share respect and care and hold on to our dreams. Best friends, a helping hand to lend. You're always there when I need.
Okay, Casey, we've learned how to walk, and we've learned how important it is to wear our helmets. Right. Now, let me show you a couple more things you can do on a horse. Let me put Clip Clop through his paces. All right. Come on, Clip Clop. The next gate up from the walk is called the trot. What is it called when you go up and down like that? This is called posting. And it was designed so that a rider traveling over great distances wouldn't get tired. Hmm. This next gate is called the canter. And it's like a very slow gallop. And this is the gate we use to jump the horses. That looks like a lot of fun. How old are horses when they start learning how to do this? Oh, usually we start them about when they're three. What about people? People, usually we want to wait till a youngster's about six years old before we start uh, teaching them how to ride. And this is the halt. And I can back him up. Good boy. And we can do the sidestep. Good boy. Now, let me show you some jumps. Good boy. Clip Clop and I have been doing this for years, and you can see how we love to fly. We sure learned a lot about horses today. What did you learn, Eddie? There's a lot of work and there's a lot of fun. Horses can walk when they're first born. You have to practice a lot to be a good rider. You have to clean up after them every day. Horses have frogs under their feet. Horses like to eat carrots and apples. Horses are all very different and all very special, just like people. We had great fun doing kid stuff with horses today. Join us on our other adventures with farm animals and wild animals and more. Bye now! Clip-clop, 
He's my horse, we love to run and play. He is my pal, of course, he loves to eat his hay. Every day I get him dressed, he loves to wear his saddle. I tell him all my secrets, my clip-clop wooden tattle. I wash his shoes and brush his coat to keep them clean and shiny. I feed him from a bowl of boats, I always treat him kindly. Clip-clop, he's my horse, we love to run and play. He's my pal, of course, he loves to eat his hay. He wears four shoes upon his feet to cover up his frogs. That's a soft part on his feet. Real neat. I'm glad they're not called hogs. Oh, clip clop. He's my horse. We love to run and play. He's my pal, of course. He loves to eat his hay. He loves to wag his tail. It keeps him nice and cool. I wonder what my friends would think if I rode clip clop to school. He'd be the best in every class, cause he's got lots of horse sense. He'd beat the rest in every sport, cause who could stop such force? No one, of course, clip clop. He's my horse, we love to run and play. He's my pal, of course, he loves to eat his hay. Clip clop, he's my horse, we love to run and play. He's my pal, of course, he loves to eat his hay. Clip clop, clip clop.